Hello everyone, welcome back. I see I've got pretty pimped up for Christmas. I got my iPhone 6S right here. I have a green screen. I also have this new headset, which I also unboxed for you. Uh, Minecraft Story Mode Episode 4, A Block in a Hard Place is out. Uh, and it's out, been out for a while, and I'm just really lazy and to make my videos and stuff like that. Previously on Minecraft Story, Story Mode. Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who wield them. And in every block, there lies the potential to create or destroy. In this case, it's destroy. Our friends have know. traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the wither storm for good. Yeah, I love but even well-laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. Petra's wither storm. And beloved heroes can fall. Eligard died. And though some glimmer of hope may remain, the threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. Everyone follow me! Uh, quick time? 
Jesse, look at him. <laughs> this is awesome. I press the key. Axel, stop backseat steering. I can't help it. I'm getting horse sick. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. It's gaining on us. No offense, but you could use a little practice. First time on a horse here. Watch it. Try to knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry. Well, stop. Well, beggars can be choosers, Petra. We could say this to anything to do with what's going on. But still. Stop. Turn around to see if it's gaining, but it's all I can do to hold on. <laughs> Jesse, Gabriel was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He what? might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel, it really is you! They told us you'd kicked it! Uh, who are you people? It's me, Magnus! Yes, Amnesia. Friend. Don't you recognize us? It's Sword. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No, that was a horse. <laughs> what a terrible turn of events. True. You! You're the one who rescued me! Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. Then, suddenly, you were there. Up until a little while ago, we all thought that you were... you know... <gasps> it was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive. Which is more than I can say for some of us. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Ellie. For a second, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Eligard? I just can't believe she's gone. It doesn't feel real. Maybe she's How? not dead. How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone. She knew the risks and she still let me take her armor. She was really something else. Even if she did make me feel like the dumbest guy in the world sometimes. <coughs> you actually are. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! It's fine. I want to know is what understands. happened out there today. Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. All we managed to do is make things worse. The command block is still out there, Soren. Blast! And now to make matters worse, we've gone from one weather storm to three! Our plan was a total failure! I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Look, our plan didn't yes, work, so we obviously need a new one. 
question is, what do we do? Well, why are you asking me? Because you're so. Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? Yes. <sighs> I need a moment to think. Okay, your moment's over. Is he always like this? <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> that jacket. I recognize it. Wait, Lucas what? always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster. Uh, it hurts just to think about. Oh. Hey, hey. It's okay. It's, it's, uh, the ocelots. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know! And that means I... I gotta go after them. They what? might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I got gotcha. you. Oh, God. I'm gonna talk hey, to Hey, buddy. You doing okay? <laughs> of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. It kinda reminds me of Han Solo and Chewbacca. Like, Han Solo can understand... Chewbacca, but nobody else Rebel? can, no. I think. Dirt? Don't but think I, so. like, Jesse's the only one who seems to under be able to understand Lucas, Ruben. what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. But if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. But I can't leave them alone out there. Not with three wither storms raging. You can't just up and leave, Lucas. You're part of our team. And you saying that just reminds me that I left my team. What? Lucas. Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. I can't believe I'm saying this, but yeah. if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Oh, God. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them. And then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. Oh, we're not gonna have Lucas anymore. For some reason, Austin... He... I mean... Lucas kind of reminds me of Ross Lynch. Ugh. I hate Ross. He's so stupid. Prepare for the internet to explode just for me saying that. Some leftover cobblestone might come in handy. How is that going to come in handy? Uh, probably for stone swords. Petra's group talk to. Petra, how are you doing? You feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. Aww. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, no kidding. I hate That's... Ivor. Not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. There's no way you could have known what would happen. No one's ever seen anything like this. Petra. Still, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear. You're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. She's Maybe pretty sick. She looks like a in this vampire. Cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. You're not fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. No. No way. I'm not a quitter. Petra, you need to keep fighting. There's no time to sit around relaxing in some cave. Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. Knew you'd understand. Just Yay. give me a little time to catch my breath, and I'll be fine. This is a bad idea, Jesse. Yeah, well, it's Petra's call to make. Okay, what else do I have to do? Talk to the Gabriel's group. I'm not gonna lie, man, but we've pulled through worse, right? Have we? How's it going? <laughs> Tell me, Jesse. Who is this person? <laughs> he keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend. You're looking at the King of Boomtown. Or should I say the former King of Boomtown? 
Sounds impressive. Aw, oh, shucks. And how do I know His Majesty exactly? Oh, yeah, I, I guess we we'll remember history, that. What? I feel I need a little reminder. You guys defeated the Ender, Ender Dragon, Dragon together. together. The most fearsome creature, creature this land has ever seen. seen. Really? How did I know that? It really? You're kind of a big deal. It isn't working. He doesn't remember. Talk to him about your past. Something only you would know about. Like what? It's been so long since we've seen each other. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say talk about. I'm not Elgar. really sure what would be useful. Talk about fighting the Ender Dragon. Yeah. No, 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 no. Anything but that. Come on, it's what you're famous for. <sighs> well, all right then. The Ender Dragon. You see, it was huge and dangerous. And for a while there, it looked like we were goners. But you know who stepped in and killed that thing? Um, was it Jesse? Huh? No! It was you, man! You killed it! Oh. Oh. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly. But I want to express my gratitude. It's no problem. I'd have done it for anyone. All the same, you have my thanks. Now then, He'll tell me that. more about this Ender, Ender Dragon. Dragon. Man, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Sorry, Oink. Ben. I don't really feel like company. Oink. I love how it says that. Ruben! Oh no, what's gonna happen? Look at horse. Am I glad you came along? He Just is a don't white tell horse. Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. How come- does Jesse have like Ruben! the uncanny ability to speak to animals or something? Oh no. That's not good. I'm gonna talk to Reuben again. Don't run off on me like that, okay? Oink. Oh, sorry, just have to uh, 17 minutes, okay. There's a soundtrack going on. Oh, sorry. I, wow, I didn't even know that. The world needs us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. How does he know about it bedrock? It is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. Oh god, is this gonna end up like the Lord of the Rings, where they're gonna separate from the group? Just as you once helped us before. Oh god. It isn't about the past, it's about the future. What is going on here? Let me guess another argument. Is there, is there another argument going on? Petra, are you sure you're okay? I'm fine, Jesse. I just need to rest for a bit. Wait, what were they talking about here? Nothing. Uh. There are three of those things now. You say that like it's my fault. It is your fault. Oh, take responsibility for what, Soren? I did that by locking the command block away. What's going on? Argument. Soren, you need to listen to me. <gasps> oh, what good has ever come of that? Jesse, you shouldn't sneak up on people. Ignore him, Jesse. He's been following us. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. Punch him again. What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! <laughs> no, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? What? Don't trust you that You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. How do you program a Wither? You mean the Order's amulet. And the reason you didn't tell us that ages ago? Gabriel was gone. I didn't think it mattered. Right. Except Gabriel gave the amulet to me. What? 
I... I didn't know. Ah, <sighs> Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, I want to punch except again. Except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The Wither's gaze passed over them, and they went wild. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a of Witherstorm. So... Can I punch so him again? enough of them working together might be able to destroy a Witherstorm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correctly. Well, need hundreds of them. To actually destroy a Witherstorm, we'd need hundreds of them. There's probably more than enough of them taking refuge in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas. Hush, I bore for once. <laughs> huh. Yeah. He just Question got roasted. Is how to bring the storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not for mere mortals. Isn't it obvious? The fortress is the key. We can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms. We bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block. Oh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a Formidabomb. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? <laughs> yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan. Just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. And I'm inclined to agree. What kind of fail safe exactly? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever. Yes. Yes, that's Whoa, it. I never heard of an enchanting book. Very well book solve all our good. problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Utterly... Utterly what? Oh dear. What was that? <sighs> what the heck? Oh no. What the heck? They're so large. I can't believe it found us so quickly. It just keeps coming for us. Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. Guys, there's a reason it's been following us. Ivor says it's because of the amulet that Gabriel... Ivor! It is you! Good to see you too, Magnus. Hello. My name is Gabriel. Somebody pinch me. Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is, we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Let's go. Not as long as we have that amulet. We need that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. Why? But you could be killed. We no, I can't let you Olivia. do that. He's There's gonna get no himself killed. no way I can let you do that, Axel. You don't understand. I'm not asking. I thought you'd trust me by now. I've never trusted you. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm coming with you, man. Nice. Yay. Jesse, I'm going with him, too. Like you said, I need to keep fighting. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. But Lucas is out there all by himself. There's nothing you can do for him now. Well, never thought I'd be saying this, but Ivor, lead the way. That's like the second time he said that. Never thought I'd be saying this. Hey, Jesse, let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The warrior's whip? You got it. The warrior whip. <laughs> what? His mouth doesn't move. See you at Soren's, all right? 
Not if I see you first. The warrior whip. Freeze, lag, lag, freezing. Oh, no, never mind. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to end this game at the pro this episode at the prologue because I'm very mean. The end of the prologue, I mean. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So bye. How are you guys? Oh, I have my way. Just listen to me. Sound oh. Oh, and feel.